What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to run off up last time, we are still under a constant barrage of French troops. Um, but this time it's only one stack to deal with, and our armies are on the way to attack their holdings in the Caribbean. But before we can do that, we must attack their armies in the field as they stand. So further ado, let's take them on. So France really is putting a huge amount of effort in generating full stacks to take back their territory. So the first step of that, in my mind, to deal with it is to capture the lands which from which they send their troops, then also to have a more powerful navy in order to force the enemy to have to run a bit more of a gauntlet to get to us. But in this battle, there will be no clever manoeuvres. We are going to advance. Even though my line is not well laid out at all. We're going to advance and destroy. That's my plan. I did have a unit of artillery selected, I did wonder that. Okay, so we're just moving up on every front. Probably going for our pikemen. This is understandable. They have gone for a Coeur de Bois, but I don't really care. It's only Colonial Light, and they've thrown them into the battle in a manner which does not actually... which will not actually do much damage. So I may even take my line infantry and just ignore it completely. You guys run to get into position. Hey, they are after my militia. Okay. My militia can take them. Damn. Claudia militia have just charged us. And this guy just got stuck with a bayonet at point blank range. Send in the, uh, Melee troops, I think. Charger Grenadiers in on the flank. God, this that was a really bad idea. No, you can take him. Charge infantry in for support. not going to be able to exploit this mass enemy route, sadly. Still charging in the centre. is not firing automatically. Push up on the flank. Yeah, my pikemen are getting ready to get in there. You guys drop into square. You guys drop into square. You guys drop into square. God damn. They are off. General, general, general. Let's 
a massive bayonet charge from so many men for nothing. Yep, the French can't get their cavalry charges in. The pikemen are in, skewing the West Indian Company infantry. Pick some new targets for the guns. Just get my general to chase down this militia unit because they may as well do something. Cavalry's routing, but it's from the combat. Yeah, to be fair, they were charging a bunch of uh, infantry as well as their general and other people, so that's understandable, but let's just let them run. Move my men up. This weakened unit can go chase down the East India Company infantry. Hey, my cavalry came back. Chase down these routing men. Engaging that militia unit, so there's no worries there. Everyone else just pound whoever they can see into the dust. General's having a great time. Artillery. Let's go after certain targets. Start to bring my cavalry back. After they've done their slaughter. Colonial militias started to die. Well, they've started to finally accept that things are not going. The situation has not improved. Unlike the tenth, who are going to show them that. No, oh, no, they routed. it. Okay, get my cavalry moving up. some that decides to come back so it's militia and grenadiers versus West India Company yeah I like their odds Surprising how some of these units have stood uh, sticking around for as long as they have. It won't do them much good though, because they're all going to be slaughtered on the shores of the United States and they will never get to see their native island once again. This goes to show our infantry is no slouch. General's had enough. He's not putting up with it anymore. It's near as damn it, everyone. I think that is everyone. 
come over here and take out this full artillery unit. Damn right, we're going to continue. That's a convenient target to take. Let's turn off our artillery. Go for the horse artillery because they're a weak crew. Then go after the East India Company infantry rather than pirates and militia and so on. Yeah, they're going to escape. So let's charge you after them if you'll make it, which I don't. Come on, four East India Company men left. One man, two men left, one man left. Close victory. It became a bit more of a slog towards the end, and I don't quite understand why, but I'll still take a win. Especially when they retreat up into a uh, peninsula, where we can just gobble them up. Yeah, that's an auto-resolve for sure. So this army is becoming extremely elite. Okay. One more turn to get longitude watch. That's good. These guys in the Bahamas are in marching into position, but they're not in position. I'm ready to advance over. They're already building up their next army. These guys, Martinique, not so much, I suppose, because they've not got a governor's a, a uh, military barracks. We're one turn off of building our shipyard. And we're a bunch of turns off of building, of researching our next, uh, our next naval building. So that's not going to be massively useful to us either. Tur the Turks are pushing into, uh, they're pushing into Russia. Ah, the French can't deploy a full stack anymore, so they're ending up deploying smaller stacks. Okay, let's take a, a bit of a break next turn to have a look at Europe and see what's going on. So obviously, the Ottomans, not the, yeah, the Ottomans are pushing into Russia. So they're sparring with uh, Russia over in the Ukraine region. Austria have taken some territories in North Africa, but we've also got. Yep, longitude watch. We've also got a Austria that's actually pushing into the centre of Europe, and they are allied with Sweden, so we don't have to worry about these guys getting into a conflict because they are allies. And let's trade with Austria to improve our relations. You want a thousand? Yes. Don't like doing that, but in order to facilitate a trade agreement, I think it would be a good idea. And let's just try trade with Britain. 2,000. Yes, just to, again, just to foster positive relations. They don't like us, but we then at least get some intelligence on their shipbuilding activities. It's got two new universities. Got a new dockyard, which putting two different ships of the line except one is one's a tiny bit more accurate so this one is accuracy 55 this one is accuracy 54 but the one with accuracy 55 is cheaper they cost the same to run but it's about 120 ish gold less so let's get a core of fourth rates built to start our next generation of fleet activities. Yes. Theodore, let's move him back to a more Waiting central region. For your orders. You're moving guns over to this army here. I'm not crazy about moving this guy out while the French are still firing fleets at us with troops. I mean, that's a pretty dismal fleet right there. Dismal army, I should say. It's quite a bland army, this. 
let's take these guys back to Boston and let's pick up some American infantry mercenaries wherever we're recruiting them from okay so what I probably want to do is take George over to here to be uh, I don't like having my admirals in lower in lower um, rate ships than I can currently build so I want this guy to be in charge of fifth rates or less then we're gonna have a fourth rate captain when these guys are finished building so we've got longitude watch and that's great but I think I might want to go back down the industrial track because you've got lots of industry buildings that would be good to upgrade so let's go for coke blast furnace because it's cheaper and then punch card loom I think Let's drop Philip Leboeuf into his army, into the into the navy. Let's take these guys out. And they can attack the French at Antigua. Oh wow, that was that was the guys from the little army they had there. Okay. Well, actually, no, let's destroy this, because we don't need it as a military building. Same with this guy. Do a little bit of replenishing. Let's take our fifth, one fifth rate. No, they can't get to Nassau, which is a shame. But you can. Tartar can get to Nassau. To keep the port occupied, we can't intercept the navy, because it's too strong. Fur Trapper, Philip Leboeuf, plus two to command during ambushes. Neat. But we will push on and then take Martinique. And then we will go and take Paramaribo and Cayenne. Because these regions are worth urban shikesh. So then once this guy's deployed where he wants to deploy, then I'll move my Quebec force up to Newfoundland. Oh, there's a lot of fleets. Britain has... well, the Royal Navy is the Royal Navy, but look at that. Jesus. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Sailing a stack up somewhere to attack me in the north. Unless they're at war with the French. <laughs> oh, pity. There's nowhere for you to go now. Your shipyard, your dockyard has been destroyed. Yeah, we very much do want to just keep... Keep hammering down the naval path and keep growing our fleets. Because right now... We want to have naval dom dominance in the Americas. That's what we need. And then even more so when we want to push out into other theatres. So you're not going to want to be pushing into Europe without something to be able to beat back the Royal Navy. Or even the Swedish or Austrian navies later on. Great in Lower Louisiana. Then the rakes infiltrate. Villa de, Be Villa de Bexar, because that's a territory I do want to take. The Pueblo Nation's a protector of Georgia. Georgia's allied with Russia, but it doesn't matter. Because you can only call in one tier of allies. But yeah, I will want to take them to get a trade, a land route to New Spain. It's a boardy house, just keep upgrading. Guys are marching back to Boston. Oh, it is from Montreal they're recruiting. Neat. Your Majesty. First, let's go back to the Bahamas and get our building done. Well, to be honest, I would be tempted to overlook Martinique and take over these and then try and make... Well, I want to take Newfoundland in these two regions and then we can make peace. Martinique itself I don't really care about. Still the towns aren't growing. 
Oh, you're not even paying taxes, Boston. Damn. You are now. I think this fleet's probably... Just keep churning out um, fifths to help grow this chap's fleet. Two, one turn we'll have some more force built. We also need to start churning out ships to go to trade theatres as well. Let's take Theodore. March here. I might just auto-resolve that because that's just a skirmish, isn't it? Realistically. Forward. March. Huh, that's not annoying at all. Okay. Cancel recruitment of all these ships. Let's move the fifths to Boston. Because this guy is going to get hit. He's going to get raided. And there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, this priest is still not doing anything because he's so ineffective. Okay, how does the map look in India? Okay, the Mughals have taken over. Ceylon is still an option. Who's France at war with? Just us. They're allied with Spain, Russia, Savoy, and the Huron. Who are <laughs> Louis the Fifteenth? Huh. It's got these dead eyes. And then France is actually on good terms with pretty much everyone, except the Persians and us. Britain's only Britain's at war with Spain. Spain's friendly with us, but they're at war with Austria. Spain. Austria, Venice, Sweden, the Ottomans. Austria is only at war with Spain, so what's that, sh that should mean that here is quite hotly contested, and it is. So Austria is fighting for dominance over the Strait of Gibraltar, and the Royal Navy is watching. They've got third-rate ships of the line. Heavy frigates. The Austrians have second rates. And their main fleet here, it's mostly fourths and a third. They do have a second rate ship of the line, so they're the, they've got parity with Britain there, and they've also got, you know, ships re waiting to reinforce. Damn, we need to grow our navy. Good job we've got a kick ass navy minister. That's all I'm saying. This guy's going to slowly replenish mercenaries, and then he's going to go start to knock out the Huron. And then these guys are probably going to march on Boston, or to uh, Plymouth, and then they're going to get shipped up to Newfoundland, and we're going to knock out that region. So you can, oh, right when I march troops out of Quebec... Suddenly, the British show up. Well, if you want to make war with me, Britain, then uh, I will... I will... I will make war. I will take Jamaica and boot your last region out of the Americas. You will have no safe harbours. Then we'll come after you. We'll invade you, and we'll take you over. And Britain will be a lovely base of operations for attacks in Europe. Yeah, can't interfere with you yet. As we start to build our new navy. Ready for you guys go take out Mr. Lance Pomeroy. Undaunted. Undefeated. So, probably... Oh, look at that. By the lab. March! You guys march Onward. back. Just the general unit. So you guys should be able to take him out. We are mighty and With no losses as well. Sir. Yes, okay, so let's do a bit of More orders management here. Forward. Your humble servant. So we want to start to get rid of, start getting rid of these militia units. Q 
keep the recruitment of these line infantry or keep the line infantry units high or as high as possible. So you men have space for Sir. Your orders. Let's take the most experienced line infantry and stick four line. Five, and then yes. you're probably gonna pick Five. up a unit of Curacier. Yes. You guys go back to Boston. Lord. Julien, get back to Boston Harbour. Let's take Let's take Georges Louis Clairot with his fifths, or some of his fifths. Back Any to orders? New York. Going to keep recruiting. Let's build a new navy around Rose. Maurice Papin. Mor Maurice Papin. Ooh, that heavy frigate surprise. Two second rate ships of the line, so we're not going to be doing much attacking of them. In Quebec. Build sediment fortifications and. Have a garrison. A really good garrison at that as well. I'd love to assault, to like ambush these guys, but A, they're protected by the French fleet, and B, we haven't got a good fleet to actually take them out ourselves. It's naval architectures we need. Two turns away. One turn away from advanced farming, which should hopefully keep this territory growing. Or do I, at this point, do I just exempt them from tax? You know, even with that, they're still not growing. Hmm. Okie dokie, let's go to here. Okay, you are replenished, so let's pick. Mine. So I don't care about the Windward Islands. I wanted the Leeward Islands in order to stop their production of troops. So I'm anticipating the French fleet's in here? Oh, I guess not. My army did not embark. Or I did not embark my army, Let, let's be fair. Well, I mean, I definitely did then. Or maybe I didn't. Hit Paramaribo. Put them under siege. Let's see if we can draw this bigger force into battle. Then where we'll be on the defensive. That would be a pretty good deal. And then let's try take. Okay, let's move this fifth rate over to an Antigua. Let's move this fifth rate over to the Grand Bahamas and let's build some sloops for port protection duty. Let's see, one for Nassau, one for Leeward Islands, and two for these regions down here, hopefully. But we can only build three before New Orleans runs out of people. Okie dokie. You have a French agent. Yeah, Britain, if you try it, we'll come and uh, take you out. Yeah, it's quite interesting how powerful Austria's got, and they've been pushing west. Are they actually at war with any of the other Italian states? No? The allies with Venice, wait. But they took Venice. Oh, so they allied with them in North Africa. <laughs> Neat. Okay, next turn we get our next farming tech, which should hopefully help out our uh, the situation where with our school and allow them to upgrade the university. So I think Britain has two military shipyards in London. Here they come. The Austrians are continuing their dominance of the Western Mediterranean. Hmm. It's been quite interesting, really. But yes, I want to take the North 
like the northeast coast of Brazil and then try and call it quits with France. And Newfoundland, obviously I'd want to take Newfoundland. So we've got a selective breeding. So this farm increases pop growth from 0.4 to 0.5 and reduces the chance of food shortages at least. So it's not a massive increase. Good, let's increasing let's increase the export capacity of this region. Oh damn, I didn't realise how unhappy they were with me. Okay, you guys need to put off this attack. It's a bummer, but uh See if they went. If they went in port, that wouldn't have happened. So they'll complain, they'll break something, probably the sugar warehouse next turn. Yeah, the, the Quebec garrison's growing. Works on strike the Newman Islands, yeah. yeah. This guy's got industry master. Okay, you stop going down farming tax. And instead go on to philosophy tax joint stock companies let's him start him growing wealth again or do i get on the military tree get explosive shells start uh, picking up some growth in the artillery market see the main reason i'm picking up mercenaries here is just to make this army a bit more interesting rather than a whole bunch of line infantry Especially as I can't recruit a whole lot at present. Because I don't have... So I've got the army board, it would change it. I'd add guard decor, that'd be something at least. Ah, I've also got a whole bunch of farms that can upgrade as well. So let's go on a bit of a farm building binge. Especially as lots of our areas, lots of our key towns don't actually have a whole lot of uh, population anyway. Yeah, that one palatial estate we just you just saw? No, it wasn't mine. It was Britain's. No, don't agree with that. I almost fell for it. Okay, that's everything. Okay, for the first job of my new navy. Sir. Is to transport a, a British... Uh, a British army. A Newfoundland... Not Newfoundland, not even a Newfoundland army. Going to Newfoundland. And let's get back to Boston. Well, we're just actually out of range, so I probably need to get cotton bot copper bottoms to increase movement range that would be good Make ready. you'll be here to take out Newfoundland once these guys have chilled out a bit we'll be in a position to uh, push into Brazil um, or do I just take Newfoundland and call it quits with the French who am I actually at war with them oh them and the Huron the Huron haven't pushed which is surprising in the extreme Ah, bankruptcy. That's what's doing it. <laughs> okay, let's hit end turn just to get another... Because next time we get two new technologies, so we may as well tick them over. But we're getting close to the ending the part soon. So let's see how things develop. Yeah, they're going to intercept my fleet. Yeah, understandable. Auto resolve. <laughs> so we lost almost all of our ships except for a fifth rate. But are they going to raid Boston? To be honest, that's to be expected because that's just classic AI behaviour. As soon as you leave any of your fleets unprotected, they will just go for it. 
and I am going to intercept them and for to force them to attack me before I attack the city. So, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.